Brent Wooding was surprised when he saw the heartbreaking letter of his seven-year-old school-going daughter, Skye. He was bursting into tears after seeing her handwritten letter to Santa. It was a Christmas wish letter addressed to him. It read, Dear Santa, I want for Christmas for my dad to get healthy and to lose weight and to get well. Please help my daddy. With a drawing of her father next to two hearts, she appealed to Santa. Her dad was 41 years old and diagnosed with a serious lung disease. He was suffering from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which causes shortness of breath. He was a father of three from Dagenham, Essex. His doctor told him that he must lose weight as part of his treatment, as he needed an oxygen machine to breathe. I was shocked when I started to read Skye's note, said Wooding. He also had two sons, Tyler, nine, and Aiden, 18. When she returned from school, she told him that she had a letter for him. Initially, he thought that it may be a list of items to be purchased for Christmas. But when he started to read the letter, he was broken and crying. He never realized that Skye would understand the pain of his sickness that much. He said, We've never talked to her directly about what's wrong with me, but she must have just picked it up. I've been in and out of the doctors, and she must have heard my partner Kay and me talking about it. I'm just so proud of her. He was so happy when he posted that letter on Facebook. The post was read by many people, and it choked him up. Actually, this story emerged after 10-year-old Ronnie Harris's story made its way to the headlines. Russell Harris, from Ipswich, Suffolk, was diagnosed with a killer brain tumor. It was the Christmas wish of his 10-year-old Ronnie to get his father cured. He was diagnosed with a brain tumor eight years ago. As it could not be operated, it had become more aggressive. It left him critically ill and took every day as it came. He said he would be the happiest boy in the world if Santa could make his dream come true. When his mother, Emma Harris, 31, found this painful letter under Ronnie's bed, she cried aloud with tears, but was so proud of her son at the same time. Mr. and Mrs. Harris knew each other since they were three years old at the same place in Ipswich. She said with tears, It made me cry. I felt so proud of him for thinking just of his dad and wanting him better. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.